Uganda's private sector comprises over 1 million 1,000 enterprises which employ approximately 2.5 million people, an equivalent of 90% of total non-farm private sector workers. The sector contributes approximately 80% of GDP. This proves its potential in bridging the income inequality gaps within the country. And I would say that this is an ongoing process. The government has got plans already in place. But maybe a few comments I can make to see how to accelerate this. Uh, for me, one of the elements is to look at the factors of production, land, labor, entrepreneurship, and capital. The way we utilize the resources we've got can determine how soon or how far behind we are in the journey towards uh, creating a good middle class to drive the economy. However, micro enterprises still make up the majority of the private sector in Uganda, 93.5%, followed by small enterprises, 4.1%, and medium enterprises, 2.4%. The mortality rate of businesses is still significant, with the majority either failing within the first three years or remaining unorganized. But now, the issue is what might be the next step. No country is perfect. But if you have a situation where many Ugandans are in business and many of them are collapsing in one year, I think it all starts with engagement. The government talking to the private sector on a regular basis to understand what the private sector need to double their productivity, to double their job creation, to double their profitability. That conversation is important. I was once working with the Ugandan Honorary Council for Thailand, Mr. James Mwana. So I interfaced a lot with the Thai investors, investors from Thailand. They would come and do inward trade missions. And you wouldn't know whether it is a government-led or private sector-led. They both work together. The Chinese, when they are traveling, they work together, government and private sector. In fact, the Thai, they have like research and development funded by government, prototypes of products, research into export markets funded and done by government for the benefit of the private sector. So I would say a conversation between the public and private sector to understand the opportunity, the challenges faced by the private sector is a good starting point. Businesses can do to make sure that uh, uh, the financial se uh, the private sector uh, thrives. And um, one of the things that uh, I, I, I would advocate for is for businesses to try as much as possible to streamline their operations uh, because uh, there are many people who, st who open up um, businesses, open up companies, but uh, according to research that was uh, uh, done, I think, uh, some time back, uh, many of them do not uh, see, live to see their uh, uh, second birthday and uh, more do not even go beyond uh, their fifth birthday. Uh, simply because um, uh, when people are starting businesses, many of them uh, they, they are looking at quick gains, getting quick, um, uh, quick uh, rich quick, which is not necessarily uh, the, 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 which is not necessarily uh, the norm. Despite the fact that majority of Ugandans benefit from the informal sector, the country loses out on the potential tax base affecting GDP. If the government deliberately partners with the private sector, it has the potential to bridge the income inequality gaps. Bernia Katsime, Smart24 TV, Business Today.